All right, I believe the stream has now started. So today we will be beginning. We will. Be today is June seventh, twenty twenty, and today is the sixth episode of Rainbow Chinese Puzzle Lessons. All right, now we can begin. Just a disclaimer: today we will be skipping over these basic. Structures with the Rainbow Chinese Seven Color System. After five lessons, you guys have definitely gotten the hang of it. But let's say you are new, you are able to go through our videos and look at our past live streams of the Rainbow Chinese puzzles, and that is where we explain the structures of the Rainbow Chinese Seven Color System. All right, now we will be moving on and, and skipping this, and. Starting off right off the bat with some puzzles. Let's begin. Our first puzzle. Let's see. This one is a top bottom structure. It's a qing zi tou and a yue, which means mu moon. Yeah, moon. All right. Now for our next question, it has a green shu xin pang, a blue xin zi tou, and a purple yue, which means moon. This is similar to the character we had just last time, the one earlier. This this one, except we have a green shu xin pang on the left. Moving on, our next puzzle. Again, we have these blue qing zi tou and a purple yue, which means moon. Except the piece on the left has been changed. All right, I'm going to see. Let's try. All right, we can move on. This is going to be our next character. And this one is different. Oh, this one is different because it has a gray tong tong zi kuang, a blue yi, and a purple ko. And well, this character is entirely different, actually. Now, which character do these three pieces make? Um. My mouse fell on the ground. All right, we are back. All right, I was just explaining this character. We will now move on. Which character can these pieces make? These two char characters. Yes. You have a gray mun, which means door, and a red ko, which means mouth. As you can see, mun, which means door, is very similar to the tong zi kuang, except there is a little dot right there, and there's like a space. All right, I will give you a little more time. This is our next character. It is entirely different and something new. You have a blue left falling stroke, a yellow R, and a red Wan Go. And well, it looks a little weird, but it's very self-explanatory. And it has a very and the answer is a very common character. Hint: It is something on your body. All right. Your time is up for this character. This is our next character. Again, a blue ko, which means mouth. A red. Well, who knows what this piece really is? It's like a shu in a hung, and a purple yun, which means person. Moving on, 
This is our next question. And you did not just see the answer to this question earlier. It is a, well, all right. It has a blue tool, which means soil, a red piece that I'm not sure what it really is, like I said last time, and a blue, a purple run, which means person. This character, this piece, doesn't really have a name. We just describe it as a shu in a hung. Okay, now you'll be looking at the answers. This is the answer to the first question. It is the character Qing, which means blue green. It has a blue Qing zito and a purple Yue, which means moon. This character is in fact a top bottom structure. Qing Shao Nian means youth and Qinghua means frog. Okay. This is our next character. It is very similar, like I said earlier, but this time it is Qing, which means emotion. It is a Shu Xin Pang, a Qing Zi Tou, and a Yue. And you could think of this as a left top bottom structure, or you can think of it as a left right structure. As the Qing Zi Tou, this and the purple Yue combine to create the character Qing. And when you combine that with the Shu Xing, Shu Xing Pao, you get Qing. Qing Gan means feelings. Qing Kuang means situation. This is the character Qing which is very similar to the characters earlier. It means sunny. Purple means, I mean, the green character is Yu, which means sun. And then again, we have the combination of the Qing Zi Tou and Yue. And why is it sunny? Well, it's because there is a purple Yu, which means sun. Qing Tian means sunny day. I'm a little rusty today, so I am not doing as good as I have been in the other weeks, but that is fine. The next character is Tong, which means same. It has a gray Tong Zhuang, a blue Yi, and a purple Ko. This is great because it is an enclosure area and surrounds these two characters, like as shown here. It is surrounding at least three different areas. Tong means same. Tong yi means agree. And Tong Xue means classmate. This is the character Wen, which means to ask. It has a gray mun and a red ko. This mun means door. And it's very similar to the Tong Zi Kuang right here, except there's like a space right there. Wen Ti means problem. Wen Hao means say hello. This is a character show, which means hand. It is a top, middle, mid, like, it's kind of like the meat skewer with the top on it. Because you have this blue left falling stroke right on the top of the R, which means two being skewered by the red one go show means hand show tall means gloves show ji means cell phone now this is our next character it's zu which means foot it has this blue coat this red piece and a purple run it is a top middle bottom structure Zhu qiu means soccer. Zhu go means enough. This is our next one. It is very similar to zhu, except this top piece is swapped out. Instead of being a ko, 
it is now a tool, which means soil. And again, it still has the same two bottom pieces. Zo means to walk. Zo lu means to walk. Zo kai means to go away. And now we'll be looking at the map of the basic characters that we have learned today. Qing, Tong, Tong, Shou, Mao, Zhu, Zhou. These characters can be used to make up more complex characters, as we see. Alright, now is the hard part. Which four of these can be combined? Which four characters can be combined in a phrase to make a Chinese cheng yu? That is not the answer. Yeah. All right. Um, this one is pretty difficult. It's it might be a di little difficult for you. Try and ask your parents if they know the answer. Okay, now we can look at the answer. This is the answer. We use these four characters. And yeah, well, that is the answer. When we use these four characters, it is Qing Tong Shou Zhu. It is emotion, same hand, foot. And it means with brotherly love for each other or brotherly friendship. So, if we use this in a sentence, we get Ta liang qing tong shou zu, which means they are like brothers. And well, today was a very eventful episode of Rainbow Chinese Puzzles. I hope you had a good time this episode, and I will see you next week. Goodbye.